let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. We start things off in Washington, where the U.S. House of Representatives on Thursday approved a bill to provide funding for Israel's Iron Dome after it was initially removed from a separate bill to prevent the government shutdown. The massive $1 billion in funding for the aerial defense system had been included in the must-pass legislation that the House brought up earlier in the week, but the provision was removed from the final version to appease a group of progressives who argued they would sink the legislation unless that funding was struck from it. The bill was easily passed 420 to 9, with eight Democrats and one Republican voting against the bill. As of last November, the U.S. had provided $1.6 billion to Israel for the Iron Dome, including funding for its batteries, interceptors, coal production costs, and general maintenance. The latest funding would be specifically used to replace missile interceptors that were used during heavy clashes with Hamas in May. The funding is also consistent with the 2016 Memorandum of Understanding between the two allies, which commits the U.S. to providing additional assistance to replenish the Iron Dome after periods of fighting, in order to allow Israel to continue to defend itself from attacks. However, the bill now goes to the Senate, where it's still unclear when it will get a vote. Moving on over to Yemen, where footage on social media gave a glimpse inside Yemen's newly explored 30-meter-wide sinkhole and natural wonder known as Well of Hell. The phenomenon located in the country's Al Mara province in the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula is 112 meters deep and remained largely undiscovered until a team of explorers ventured inside using sophisticated equipment. The exploration team found snakes, frogs, birds, as well as pearls at the bottom, with light waterfalls surrounding some parts of the cave. For many years, the natural wonder has been a topic of mystical tales among residents. Finishing things off with some exciting news for music fans, as Nirvana's famous second album, Nevermind, will celebrate its 30th anniversary Friday. But fans of the band are more excited for a set of multi-format reissues containing a total of 94 audio and video tracks, including 70 previously unreleased tracks in November. The releases will begin rolling out on November 12th and will range from super deluxe editions to standard CD and single disc vinyl. The 30th anniversary edition has been newly remastered from original half-inch stereo analog tapes to high-resolution 24-bit. Isengje, Arirang News.